Your brain is constantly communicating with the rest of your body. It sends special chemicals called hormones from one nerve to another. Those little guys influence how your brain works and can increase or decrease your energy level and fat storage and can even control your mood. Dopamine. This one is also called the pleasure and reward hormone. Dopamine can motivate you to work hard to achieve some results. So next time you don't feel like getting out of bed, eat one of the dopamine boosting foods. Fish, chicken, eggs, nuts, beans, and cheese are all rich in it. It'll give you that warm fuzzy feeling of pride and reward when you complete everything you wanted to do. If a person has a low level of dopamine, they may feel depressed and anxious. A lack of it could also make you keep gaining weight even after you start eating healthy and working out. One more sign that you don't have enough of this hormone is slow and uncoordinated movements of your body. On the flip side, if you have too much of the chemical, you might experience too many unnecessary movements or even repetitive tics. Serotonin. Serotonin is known as the feel-good hormone. 90% of this chemical is in your intestines and blood platelets. So, serotonin plays an important role in digestive health. If you sleep well, have high self-esteem, are generally in a good mood, and enjoy a healthy appetite, your serotonin is definitely at a good level. Having enough of this hormone also helps you multitask and memorize everything easily. When you don't have enough serotonin, or it's not in balance, you might get anxiety, panic attacks, depression, and even fits of anger. And if you constantly get stuck on certain thoughts that seem more important than anything else in the world, a low level of serotonin is to blame too. Your body needs more carbs to produce more serotonin, so make sure you include bananas and yogurt in your diet. Also, try to get more sunlight since it helps your body produce vitamin D, which helps with serotonin production. Oxytocin This one is the so-called love hormone. Your body releases it when you hug someone you care for, a friend, a relative, or your special someone. Oxytocin boosts your feeling of love and trust. That's why being in a relationship makes you happy. If you feel lonely, stressed, tired, or unworthy, it may mean that your level of oxytocin has dropped. The next thing you do is stay at home and avoid the company of others. Even a little chat can drain you out emotionally. To boost that love hormone in your body, do some self-care. First of all, get a massage. It'll relax your muscles and release oxytocin into your system, as it's from extended physical contact. And a professional massage does make you feel good. Something else you could do is hug your friends and family members any chance you get. Cuddle with your pet on the couch in the evening. It all works. Melatonin. This awesome chemical is also known as the anti-aging hormone. It's responsible for regulating your body clock and for revival and rest. Melatonin sets the pace for your body, letting it know what time of the day and what time of the year it is. As soon as the sun sets, the pineal gland in your brain gets down to work, pumping out melatonin, which in turn makes you sleepy. Your melatonin levels highest between 2 and 3 a.m. You need this hormone to combat stress and doze off. It also works as an antioxidant. Gadgets are keeping you from getting enough sleep by emitting a particular blue light that closely resembles daylight. If you spend some time before sleep staring at the screen of your cell phone or laptop, it affects melatonin production. More or less the same goes for street lights or any other sources of lighting near you at bedtime. Melatonin deficiency leads to obesity and serious health conditions. So when you go to bed at night, put away any gadgets that emit blue light. You can also get blackout window shades or find a cute sleep mask to minimize any light impact. Eat some cherries before going to sleep, since they're rich in melatonin. Don't wear anything too tight to bed. Constrictive clothing can decrease the production of melatonin by as much as 60%. Endorphins This hormone is a natural painkiller produced by your body. Endorphins don't get rid of pain completely, they just decrease its intensity. When endorphins are produced in your system, your mood improves and you feel euphoric. The more endorphins in your body, the happier you are. That's why a lot of runners feel strong and ready to conquer the world instead of feeling exhausted when they push themselves to their physical limit. Thanks to endorphins, humans have survived extreme conditions over the centuries. It helped your ancestors stand pain, giving them time to escape life-threatening situations. People with a low level of endorphins can be really emotionally sensitive. 
they have an extremely low pain tolerance, crave comfort foods, and may even feel depressed. If you want some extra endorphins in your body, include some good fats like avocados, olives, and coconut in your daily diet. Try to get out in the sun more, listen to your favorite music, exercise regularly, laugh more, and eat some dark chocolate. Do more of what makes you happy. Adrenaline. When you find yourself in a tense situation, two glands at the top of the kidneys release adrenaline to prepare you for fight or flight mode. This way, this hormone helps you deal with stress. Although, it doesn't lessen your pain, but makes you concentrate on the most urgent task at the moment. So, you won't pay attention to your scraped knee when you need to escape from a burning building. Plus, adrenaline helps you see better by dilating your pupils. Thanks to it, you can notice potential danger earlier and avoid it. It also stimulates your brain and helps you think two or three times faster. Adrenaline constricts your veins, which causes your heart to pump more blood. It also prevents the airways from narrowing if a person is having a dangerous allergic reaction and breathing returns to normal. Norepinephrine This hormone also helps your body cope with a high-stress situation. It's produced in the central nervous system and in the adrenal glands. It gives you dilated pupils, increased heart rate, and widened air passages. This hormone redirects the flow of blood from your skin to your muscles. That's why your body needs to operate well in potentially dangerous or highly stressful situations. Norepinephrine is produced only when you need it and disappears from the system after the threat is gone. When you don't have enough of this chemical, it leads to mental health problems like depression, anxiety, or eating disorders. It could also make you lose interest in life and give you brain fog. You can try to balance your level of norepinephrine naturally by eating the right foods. Bananas, beans, chocolate, cheese, eggs, chicken, meat, fish and seafood, as well as oatmeal will help you out. Doing exercise, jumping into cold water or sweating in a sauna are other ways to increase its levels in your system by two or three times. Cortisol Cortisol is the stress hormone. It can be helpful as it alerts your body when you're in danger but it's crucially important to keep it in balance. When you have too much cortisol in your system, it causes mood swings, makes you angry, gives you extra weight in the face and abdomen, and muscle weakness. When you don't have enough of it, you may feel fatigue, dizziness, slow but steady weight loss, and again, changes in mood. To keep it under control, try some relaxation techniques like yoga and meditation. Take up a new hobby, see your friends more often, and have fun. You can also include dark chocolate, bananas and pears, yogurt and black or green tea in your diet. And remember to drink plenty of water.